All right, so this is funny. I'm gonna scroll across real slow. Y'all can see what I'm laughing about. This little Dixie chick here, <laughs> this little Dixie chick is like, uh, Ernie's like a host animal. He's one of those creatures that allow other animals to live on his back to help eat off the flies and the fleas and the ticks. You know, she's the same one that was on Ringo's horns not too long ago. She's cute. One of the turkeys is on top of Ringo. Do you, do you see this? That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Hey. Oh my God, he's on his horns. Ringo doesn't care. Ringo don't give a crap. Oh my God, that's so funny. Oh my God. <laughs> This is how you can tell that animals have just as much as an, of an internal clock as what humans have. Because why else would every animal, every animal we own, every little animal from the little Oles to you name it. Yeah, Jamie's right. Every animal, <laughs> that we claim to take care of is all gathered up here together because they know exactly what time it is. It's dinner time. And their internal clocks, man, are right on. This is kind of funny. And I'm gonna walk out back and I'm gonna show you how the animals out back are doing the exact same thing. All right, so you've seen the animals up front. Let's go out back and take a peek at uh, the uh, backyard, the bigs. All right, I'm coming around the side of the house now towards the bigs. Can you hear this? Oh, they're all gathered up over here. They're getting that real low holler like feed us, daddy, please feed us. Hurry and feed us. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys are ridiculous. Even pearls come up. You guys. This, <laughs> this is ridiculous, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's ridiculous. And Big Trudy came with me because she knows that dad's going to take care of her. She knows that dad's going to take care of her and feed her first. For all of you folks who've been asking about Petunia, here she is. We're getting a little cool off, a little bath. She's loving it. I'm actually cleaning out her water because she's made quite the mess. So I thought I'd spray her off while I'm out here and look how she loves it. <laughs> she's in hog heaven. Folks, we have a big problem, and it's Pig Trudy. No, babe, she's broken the whole pow she the oh. whole water line. No, she's broken the whole water line off. That's bad. No, I know it's bad. Oh my God, Lester, that's to the house. I know it's to the house, Jamie. It does fit. Does it fit? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll put that elbow right there, Do you and want uh, this piece or that though? I think we'll just keep the one that we have yeah. if it works. You okay with her doing that? It's not the best way to work. All right, so we can just keep the one that we have over here now. Okay. We gotta get that glue, but there's ants everywhere, so watch, I know, your, it's watch all your hands. Over me. Folks, this, this is a problem. Trudy, baby, you don't even eat those. You're not supposed to eat that. So, pig Trudy has gotten herself up on top of the trampoline and she's run all the goats off. And every time they come up there to play or to eat, whatever they're trying to do, she runs them back off. I know, baby. You like the trampoline too? You're gonna fall if you're not careful though. You're a pig. You're not really as agile as those goats are. Don't do that. You're right, <laughs> Ernie. <laughs> Dude, you look ridiculous. He's got that comb over look.
Oh my goodness. Hey, Cornholio. Woo! <laughs> I know.